In this video, you're going to learn how to set up e-commerce tracking in Google Analytics so that you can measure the number of transactions and revenue that your website generates. Now, the first step to setting up e-commerce tracking is to come down into the admin section of your Google Analytics accounts, come up into e-commerce setting, just click to enable e-commerce and enhance e-commerce reporting and click save. Now that wraps up the first step to set up e-commerce tracking in Google Analytics. Before we move on to step two, let's just take a minute to explain the difference between e-commerce and enhanced e-commerce reporting. So coming into the developer guide here for Google Analytics, we can see that e-commerce tracking really allows you to measure the number of transactions and revenue that your website generates. Now enhanced e-commerce reporting will really give you information about user interactions as such as product impressions, product clicks, viewing product details, adding a product to the shopping cart, initiating a checkout process, transactions and refunds. So it really goes beyond just the basic transactions and revenue and gives you a whole load of information about the user's behavior leading up to the purchase. So that is really the difference between e-commerce and enhanced e-commerce reporting in Google Analytics. The second step to set up e-commerce tracking in Google Analytics is to add the tracking code to your website or app to collect e-commerce data and send it to Google Analytics. Now the great news is, is that if you are using an e-commerce platform like Shopify or Magento, you don't need to do any additional steps here. They have built their platform so it's very easy to send that e-commerce data. All you'll need to have done is really enable those reports and you're going to see that e-commerce data in your Google Analytics uh, reports. So what I suggest you do is if you're using Shopify or Magento or WooCommerce or another shop system like that is to go ahead and check their help center to see the easy steps to uh, really send that e-commerce data to your Google Analytics account. Now, if you're not using a shop system like that, you have to manually add in the e-commerce tracking code uh, to your website. And to complete this task, you need to be comfortable with editing HTML and coding in JavaScript or have help from an experienced web developer. So this is the type of additional code uh, that you need to put into your website in order to track that e-commerce data. So if you're not familiar with coding uh, JavaScript and HTML, then you should really look for a freelancer to do this for you. This is a fairly standard thing. Um, and all you need to do is find someone who's familiar with your shop system. So what I'll do is put this developer guide in the description if you want to go through this detailed guide and implement those steps for yourself to add the tracking code to your website or app. Now the final step to really set up e-commerce tracking is just to come into your Google Analytics account once you have completed those setup steps and just verify that it is working. So where you're going to find these reports is under conversions, e-commerce, and once you have those set up and it's collected data for a couple of days, then you'll be able to see things like, you know, how much revenue and conversion rates, the order value, the top products, etc., in all of the e-commerce reports. So that wraps up the three steps to set up e-commerce tracking in Google Analytics.